Καλησπέρα. Σα ευχαριστούμε πολύ που ήρθατε. Ε, Όπω ξέρετε, έχουμε φιλοξενούμενοι ξέρετε την αγαπημένη μα Στίβη. Ε, είναι μια συναντήτριά μου από τη διεθνή ομάδα τη Άλλομον. Έχουμε γνωριστεί κάποια χρόνια πριν. Ε, πλέον οι αγώνε μα έχουν φτάσει σε ένα πάρα πολύ καλό επίπεδο. Κάποιοι αγώνε μα. Και ο πιο παλιό από αυτού είναι ο Όλυμπο. Ε, επί την ευκαιρία τη συνεργασία με το Runner Store. Ε, Θέλαμε να, έχουμε, να, να κάνουμε και το επόμενο βήμα να έρθει κάποιο διεθνή αθλητή και να μοιράσει τέλο πάντων όλη, όλη αυτή την προσπάθεια που γίνεται στην Ελλάδα. Και ο καλύτερο ε, πρεσβευτή γι' αυτό είναι η Στίβη. Ε, Ούτω ή άλλω θα δείτε ότι δεν είναι μόνο η, η κλασική dedicated αθλήτρια που κάνει μόνο αυτό στη ζωή τη. Είναι δασκάλα. Εγώ όταν τη γνώρισα, ε, δούλευε στην Ιταλία. Ήταν διορισμένη σε ένα σχολείο στην Ιταλία. Και τώρα έχει μετακομίσει πάλι στι ΗΠΑ που είναι και το σπίτι τη και διδάσκει εκεί. Η καταγωγή τη είναι γερμανική, είναι από τη Γερμανία, από το γενέθλιο του Ισλανδού. Λοιπόν, πάμε. Στον Τίσσαντο. Και τα υπόλοιπα θα σα τα πει η ίδια. Αν θέλετε να μεταφράζουμε κάτι, κάποιο δεν ξέρει αγγλικά, πείτε το μα για να το κάνουμε. Αλλιώ δεν θα μεταφράζουμε. Και. You know, I, I grew up in Connecticut, which is very close to New York City, so I didn't grow up with mountains. Um, but I went to college in Colorado, and we, we have a saying in the U.S., it's called the freshman 15, because the freshman year is your first year in college, and that's when everyone gains 15 pounds, because you eat a lot of pizza and drink a lot of beer. So my way to keep off the freshman 15 was uh, to, to run, but I didn't, I never raced really. Um, and then I moved to Crested Butte after college, and that's where all the mountains are. We live at 2,800 meters, so it was uh, it was really easy to run in the mountains. Mountains are everywhere. You don't, it's a small, small town, only a little more than 2,500 people. So, yeah, we I just started running, and then um, I competed in a, a few races in Colorado, not many, just local. Um, but then four years ago, in 2012, I decided to teach in Italy for a year, and I was very homesick in Italy, so I started finding different mountains and races throughout the mountains of Austria and Italy, and my grandmother gave me her 1996 Mercedes, this huge car, and I would just drive everywhere. And in November, I went to a race that was sponsored by Solomon, and I... I emailed him and I said, can I please run your race? And he didn't write me back. And then I wrote him and I said, I'm a US Solomon athlete. Can I please run your race? And he said, okay. <laughs> so that was my first, or that was one of the first experiences. And he asked me if I wanted to be part of the Italian Solomon team after that. And so I ended up traveling with the Italian team on the weekends with, with uh, when I didn't have to teach. And that's kind of how I started running internationally. But um, then I only stayed in New York for a year to teach and then came back to Crested Butte where I went back to teaching. And I have a really nice principal who allows me to take one or two days off on each end of the weekend to travel to these races. Um, and yeah, that's kind of where I am today. And that's a little short piece of my life. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Any anything you want me to explain more? It sounds very really easy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most of the flights you sleep on the plane, you get there, you get your bib number, you go to sleep, you wake up, you run, and then you get back on the plane and you're ready for school. No, no, I mean, uh, it sounds easy. Uh, uh, participate in, uh, um, in the race, and then I call to Salomon and the team and. Uh, I told them, uh, may I be surrounded by the Yeah. <laughs> I think it was one of those things where I was at the right place at the right time. I was just, my friend is here with me from Colorado, and, I, and we were just talking about this, and I, if I hadn't have taught in Italy, I don't think I would be here today. I think it just kind of everything fell into place, and I've been so lucky where I've traveled, and... 
I, I've just been so lucky with, with everything, with some results, with my teaching, with my flights being on time, you know, everything. So, knock on wood, I hope it keeps <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, so. So, um, I'm a school teacher, obviously, and I try to be at school around 7, 15, 7, 30. So I wake up around 4, 30, 4, 45 in the morning, um, and I'll try to do some sort of training in the morning, maybe an hour or so. Um, and then, and then, yep, I go to school, and then school ends around 3.30, so we stay, finish some things up till maybe 4, and then I try to go out and run for another hour or two. But um, I always feel like I'm in a rush. I always feel like I, I have something to do. So I think that helps my training, because I always just go as fast as I can, because I'm always late. And so you just, um, you, you're just always late. Um, and and my, my husband is a, is a good runner, too. And so I always try to keep up with him. And I think that makes me a little bit faster, too. Um, I had a chase Demetrius one day after a race, after a race. And I think he made me a faster runner from that one time I had to chase him. Um, I, I do think it's very important, and you probably know, you probably know, to um, always do some sort of speed work, uh, whether it's intervals or, I don't know, going fast for 20 minutes. But I try to do that maybe once a week or so. But the most important thing, I think, is you need to enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, it's, you're not gonna, it's, you're not going to be good. So, and I, I, I just love, this is, this is Crested Butte. This is the town of Crested Butte, and everyone rides their bike around. Um, it's an old historic mining town where I live. That those are the mountains that you can run up every single one of those mountains, um, and they're all between three and five thousand meters, so you can get very, very high. Um, that's my classroom. <laughs> uh, so it's just it's so easy. You don't have to drive anywhere. You can just walk to the trails. You bike to the trails, and it's just. It's easy and it's fun. So, yeah. I have two questions. <laughs> first one, is this your first time in the race? Yes. And I love it. Everyone is so nice. <laughs> I have met the nicest people here and just everyone. I think Greek's favorite words are don't worry. And I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. I, I, you know, because in, in the U.S. a lot of people say, oh, it's fine, it's fine. And when people say it's fine, you kind of say, oh, that's not so fine. But when you say don't worry, I go, oh, okay, I'm not going to worry. Don't worry. Yes, of course I'm going to Second question. Yes. Did you tell us what have you done in your first race in Italy? The result? Oh, I, I did okay. I had, I had a good race. You won? I did win, yes. <laughs> I just won. <laughs> but there, there wasn't that. That was not a big race, so it wasn't very much competition. My, my first big race that I won, I think I talk a little bit too much about beer. I, I promise I don't have a problem, but one of my first races in Europe, I was, um, it was within the first week that I got to Italy, and so all the new teachers were coming together, so we had a, a big party for teachers, and this was on a Thursday night, because school was starting the next Monday. So Thursday night, all the new teachers of Italy came, and we just drank a lot of beer. And we stayed up late. And I woke up Friday morning with such a bad headache, crying, because that night I was flying to Interlock in Switzerland to go do the Jungfrau Marathon, which I highly recommend. It's amazing. Uh, and I was meeting my dad there. And I, I mean, I thought I had died the night before. I felt so bad. And so I arrived late Friday night. The race was Saturday morning, 8 o'clock, and I, I did, this was my second race in Europe, and I was so nervous. But I didn't care because I was so just tired. And So anyway, the first um, like 15K is flat pavement. You're just running and interlocking on flat pavement. And this was the world championship of, of long distance running, not running. So the, these fast girls were so, the Kenyans were so far ahead of me, but I, I didn't care. My number was like 6,922, and everyone was like, one, two, three, four. So I just didn't care. But then the mount, the climbing started, and the Kenyans started backing up a little bit, and I started feeling good. And so I just, I just started running, having no idea what was happening, and my dad happened to be there, and 
you can take this little train that stops at every little stop. And my dad was there, and then runs up, and then waves me again. And because my name is Stevie, everyone thinks I'm a boy. So, and, and this was a girls only race. The girls were racing on Saturday, and the boys were racing on Sunday. So they're like, uh, Steve, Steve, uh, Steve is here, uh, Steve. And all of a sudden, there's three of us. I was third, and we have like 5K left to go. And the first place girl just stops running. She's like crying, she's done. And so I catch up to the second place, and all of a sudden, before I knew it, I, I was first. And I, it, was, it was the biggest surprise ever. This big teddy bear comes and hugs me. And it was just, it was my first drug test, you know? And, I, and I, you know, this guy is walking around with me holding my hand so that I don't leave him. I've never gotten a drug test before that. I mean, it was awesome. It was so cool. So that was, that was probably the coolest experience I had running. Um, just because it was so unexpected. And the moral of that story is it's okay to have a beer when you're training. But you have to attend. <laughs> but yeah, so that was a good experience I had. Can you something? Yeah. I know that you are here. Yeah. You got to tell us about Yeah, so obviously where I live, I mean, we still have snow on our peaks. Um, so in the winter, we have something called ski mountaineering, where they're very light skis. And um, you, you hike up the mountain. I do it. Oh, you do it too. Yeah. And then, and then you, oh yeah, we talked about this. Um, and I think it's a great compliment to mountain running because there's no impact on your knees. It's very smooth and it's, it's uphill, so you're working very hard and staying in shape. And then on the downhill, you get that awesome award of getting to ski and it's not difficult. So I, I think it's amazing. And for me, I think if I ran year round, I would get very tired of running. I don't think I would like running so much. So I think when the winter ends, I'm ready to run. And when the summer ends, I'm ready to ski. So it, it's perfect for me. And, and like I said, I think as long as you're enjoying it, you're going to do well. But the second you, you don't enjoy it so much, it's just not going to go so well. Yeah. But where do you do that? Mount Olympus? Yes, 100%. Nice. And do you race? Yes. Awesome. Are you, is that your partner? They, no. <laughs> <laughs> he was telling me about he had a partner. He's my trainer. Oh, nice. It's awesome. Have you done a lot of races in Europe? In Europe, no. No. But Those they have race. races here. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. But they have teams. Yeah. All over Europe. Mm -hmm. You should so. come to Crested Butte. It's... I know that. <laughs> I've been just in Canada. I miss That was just the, the ridge, that, that's our peak. That's about um, 4,000 meters? Yeah. And, and everything, everything is accessible. We're just, we're so lucky where we live. That's just this cheesy picture. But that, yeah, that was the base of the mountain. So, so which one of the race was race? No, I would say, Zagama was the most technical and difficult technicality and uh, very bad at the downhill and it was so slippery. But I think Madeira was the most challenging for me because it was seven and a half hours. Ugh, never again. <laughs> I like to step at four and a half. <laughs> so Saturday or Sunday <laughs> will be interesting. Uh, I'm going to tell myself six hours or Sunday. Six hours. I'll be, I'll be done by noon. Six hours, I think, you going to be faster than that. But uh, this is another question. Yes. Do you study the competition with the races? I try not to. I do care, but I think the more you study the competition or the trail or whatever, the more nervous it makes you. Because what I've learned over the years of all the competitions, especially with sky running, and I don't know if Dimitris agrees, you race against the same people. Every race in the sky series, it's the same people. So you might be the same as, as the four other girls, but you might have a bad day that day, or they have a very good day. So you just never know. You can never go into a race saying, well, I beat her last time, so I'll beat her again. Or, 
you know, and every race, and it's just like every sport, you can have a bad day, and that's so unfortunate, so I just, I try, my new attitude is just to have fun, it's a new, I've never been here, and it's a new mountain to run up, so of course I won't sleep the night before, um, but it's okay, that's another story, sleep the next day, yeah, right, yeah, but yeah, I try not to study too much. I think my best question was uh, the same with uh, the time you showed in the game. Like the first? No. Uh, oh, oh, what? Uh, yeah. yeah. I think physically is a bad one. Just the course was good. Maybe now the course would be on it. But the, the best part about racing is honestly the people you meet. I'm not saying that to be cheesy and stupid, but it's, it's, I mean, you can sit at a table and there's six languages going on at one table and it's so cool. It's not like everyone's just speaking English. You know, you hope they aren't at least. And it, I just think it's so wonderful how many cultures and people are being brought together and for one passion. Maybe this is the best part of, the, of what you're doing. Yeah. And traveling and yeah. meeting people and I still don't know how to say how, how to say hello. I've asked about 13 people how to say hello and thank you. I still can't tell you how to do it, but you know it's just fun to learn. Yeah. So thank you for having me. Yeah. And good luck if you're running on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs>